The tour heads north at the border this week for the RBC Canadian Open, the third oldest tournament on the PGA Tour. It's another in a line of big competitions for Canada this summer. Earlier this month, the United States women's national team wrapped up its third FIFA Women's World Cup title in Vancouver. And Toronto is currently hosting some of the top athletes in the Americas for the Pan Am Games. Just outside the city, you'll find Glen Abbey Golf Club, where the next marquee event in Canada's prestigious summer takes place. Wherever they play the Canadian Open, it's a national open. It's something big. Get a, a large fan base to come. They always get good crowds there. Kind of a more open golf course that fits the fans on there, and one that I, I think players enjoy playing. Fans will watch a field boasting eight players ranked in the top 25 of the FedEx Cup standings, 13 tour winners this season, and nine past champions. Scott Piercy has won the National Championship of Canada. To win that golf tournament would be unbelievable. It's been a long time. And every time we go to Canadian Open, we get the same questions from the media. So it would be nice to go there next year and say a Canadian hasn't won this tournament for one year. There are 16 Canadians in the field this week, all looking to be that guy and a 61-year drought at their national championship. It'd be a pretty special feeling to go home and win in front of your fans and win in front of your country and win the national open. These Canadian fans are dying to see a native Canadian win this national championship. Canadians love golf. The country's behind every golfer out there and you feel it. There's more support. It's never a bad thing when the whole country's pulling for you. It's a pretty cool feeling.